Spain bans iris scanning, the future of biometrics at risk. In a significant move that could reshape the landscape of biometric technology, Spain recently announced a ban on the use of iris scanning for identification and authentication purposes. This decision, grounded in privacy concerns and potential risks to civil liberties, has sparked a heated debate about the future of biometrics in both Spain and the broader global context. As countries increasingly rely on biometric systems for security and identification, Spain's ban raises critical questions about the balance between technological innovation and the protection of individual rights. Understanding Iris Scanning Technology Iris scanning is a biometric identification method that uses high-resolution images of the eye to verify a person's identity. The iris, the colored part of the eye surrounding the pupil, contains complex patterns that are unique to each individual, making it an ideal characteristic for secure identification. The process involves capturing an image of the iris using infrared light which can penetrate the cornea to highlight the intricate patterns. This image is then converted into a digital template and stored in a database. When a person needs to be identified or authenticated, their iris is scanned again, and the new image is compared to the stored template. If there is a match, the person is granted access. Iris scanning is considered one of the most accurate biometric technologies available, with a very low rate of false positives or negatives. Unlike fingerprints, which can be altered by cuts or wear, the iris remains largely unchanged throughout a person's life, providing a stable and reliable method of identification. The reasons behind Spain's ban Spain's decision to ban iris scanning technology stems from a combination of privacy concerns, potential misuse, and the broader implications for civil liberties. Key factors contributing to the ban include Privacy concerns Iris scanning involves the collection and storage of highly sensitive biometric data. The fear is that this data, if compromised, could be used for unauthorized surveillance, identity theft, or other malicious purposes. Unlike passwords or ID cards, biometric data is intrinsic to an individual and cannot be changed if compromised, making it a particularly sensitive form of personal information. Potential for abuse The Spanish government expressed concerns that iris scanning technology could be misused by both public and private entities. For instance, there's the potential for mass surveillance, where individuals' movements and activities could be tracked without their consent. This raises significant ethical questions about the extent to which governments and corporations should be allowed to collect and use biometric data. Impact on civil liberties The widespread adoption of iris scanning could lead to a society where individuals are constantly monitored and tracked, eroding personal freedoms and privacy. In Spain, there is a strong emphasis on protecting civil liberties, and the government's decision reflects a commitment to preventing technologies that could infringe on these rights. Lack of regulation Another concern is the absence of robust regulatory frameworks to govern the use of iris scanning and other biometric technologies. Without clear guidelines and oversight, there is a risk that these technologies could be deployed in ways that are harmful or unjust. Spain's ban is, in part, response to the lack of comprehensive regulations that ensure the ethical use of biometric data. Public trust Public trust in biometric systems is crucial for their successful implementation. In Spain, there is growing skepticism about the use of such technologies, fueled by high-profile data breaches and concerns over government surveillance. By banning iris scanning, the Spanish government aims to address these concerns and restore public confidence in the use of technology. The Impact of the Ban on Biometric Technology Spain's ban on iris scanning could have far-reaching implications for the future of biometric technology, both within the country and globally. Some of the key impacts include Slowing the adoption of biometrics Spain's decision could slow the adoption of biometric technologies, not only in Spain, but also in other countries that may consider similar measures. This could have a ripple effect on industries that rely on biometrics for security, identification, and access control, such as banking, healthcare, and law enforcement. Increased focus on privacy, the ban highlights the need for greater attention to privacy and data protection in the development and deployment of biometric technologies. Companies and governments may be compelled to strengthen privacy safeguards and adopt more transparent practices to address public concerns and comply with stricter regulations. Innovation in Biometric Technology While the ban could pose challenges for the biometric industry, it could also drive innovation. Companies may need to develop new technologies or improve existing ones to address privacy concerns and regulatory requirements. This could lead to the emergence of more secure and privacy-friendly biometric solutions. The Future of Biometrics After Spain's Ban Spain's ban on iris scanning raises important questions about the future of biometrics. While the technology offers many benefits, including increased security and convenience, it also poses significant risks to privacy and civil liberties. The challenge lies in finding a balance between leveraging the advantages of biometric technology and protecting individuals' rights. 
striking a balance between security and privacy. One of the key challenges moving forward will be finding a balance between the security benefits of biometrics and the need to protect privacy. Governments and companies will need to work together to develop technologies and practices that offer robust security while minimizing the risk of privacy violations. Enhancing regulatory frameworks. Spain's ban underscores the need for stronger regulatory frameworks to govern the use of biometric technologies. Clear guidelines and standards are essential to ensure that these technologies are used ethically and responsibly. This includes establishing rules for data collection, storage, and usage, as well as providing mechanisms for oversight and accountability. Public engagement and transparency. Building public trust is crucial for the successful adoption of biometric technologies. Governments and companies must engage with the public, provide transparency about how biometric data is used, and address concerns about privacy and security. This may involve educating the public about the benefits and risks of biometrics and ensuring that individuals have control over their own data. Exploring alternative technologies. In light of the ban, there may be increased interest in exploring alternative identification and authentication technologies that do not rely on biometric data. This could include advancements in cryptographic methods, behavioral biometrics, or multi-factor authentication systems that combine several different methods for greater security. International collaboration. As the debate over biometrics continues, there is a need for international collaboration to develop global standards and best practices. Countries can learn from each other's experiences and work together to address the challenges posed by biometric technologies. This collaboration could lead to the development of a unified approach that balances the benefits of biometrics with the protection of individual rights. Spain's decision to ban iris scanning marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing debate over biometric technology. While the ban reflects legitimate concerns about privacy, security, and civil liberties, it also highlights the need for a careful and considered approach to the adoption of new technologies. The future of biometrics will likely depend on how well governments, companies, and society as a whole can navigate these complex issues. As we move forward, it will be essential to strike a balance that allows us to harness the benefits of biometric technology while safeguarding the rights and freedoms of individuals.